We've got another question that comes from Adam Masters. Thanks, Tony. Prime Minister, following WikiLeaks' publishing of classified documents in December of last year, you labelled the organisation's actions illegal, despite, having, despite being unable to identify any law which had actually been broken. Given the increasingly vocal support for WikiLeaks, do you now regret such comments? Uh, I can tell. <laughs> I, I can tell already my answer is probably not going to please the audience, but uh, let me make my attitude clear. Uh, first, I want to lay to rest one myth that's kind of got out there. Uh, we are supporting Julian Assange the same way we would support any Australian citizen who got into a legal difficulty overseas. We support people who are accused of drug trafficking, we support people who are accused of murder, uh, whatever view people have about those kinds of crimes, and I'm sure everybody here would say, well, drug trafficking's wrong, murder's wrong. We support Australian citizens who have got into trouble overseas. So my view about the conduct is neither here nor there in that sense. He's getting the same support someone called John Smith would get in the same situation. But I do have a view about the merits and morals of the Act, and I simply don't see the moral force in it. I have got a lot of respect for people who uh, whistleblow. Um, I uh, know enough about American history to know the history of Watergate, uh, and Deep Throat did the right thing, getting that information into the public domain. Uh, there are people who have worked for uh, Big Tobacco who have got information into the public domain, been whistleblowers, they've acted and they've acted for a moral purpose. I respect that. At the centre of WikiLeaks, I don't see that moral purpose. It's just, you didn't here, see, you didn't it, see, here it is, you, have you it. You didn't see any potential moral purpose in the uh, leaked documents which showed that Middle Eastern potentates were behaving corruptly. Well, no, in this sense, to the... It, because that, some people say well, that, that some it, of those issues help lead, for example, in Tunisia to the overthrow of the government. But what I'm going to really is Assange's <coughs> motivations. And I think if your motivation... I can respect whistleblowing if your motivation is to right wrong. So what do you, his, think, his, what do you his, think his motivation well, is? His, his motivation, as stated, is a sort of um, anarchic, uh, here it all is, just have it. Um, and I, I don't have a great deal of respect for that. Um, now, I understand people will take different views on it, but that's the view that motivated me to make those comments. OK, you're watching Q&A. Remember, you can send web or video questions to our website. The address is on the screen. To find out how to, to do that, well, the next question is a video question, and it comes from Julian Assange, <laughs> who's under house arrest in England. Prime Minister, you just got back from Washington. But what Australian citizens want to know is which country do you represent? Do you represent Australians and will you fight for Australian interests? Because it's not the first time that you or a member of your cabinet has been into a US government building and exchanged information. In fact, we have intelligence that your government has been exchanging information with foreign powers about Australian citizens working for WikiLeaks. So, Prime Minister, my question to you is this. When will you come clean about precisely what information you have supplied to foreign powers about Australian citizens working or affiliated with WikiLeaks? And if you cannot give a full and frank answer to that question, should perhaps the Australian people consider charging you with treason? <laughs> yeah. You can take the treason part first, if you like. Uh, well, of course, as uh, Prime Minister of this country, I represent this country all day, every day. Uh, you don't have an accent like mine and get confused with being someone from another nation, so <laughs> let's just put that to, to rest. Uh, on the exchange of information he's talking about, I honestly don't know what he is talking about. Uh, so I'm afraid I can't help him with full and frank uh, disclosures. Uh, I don't know anything about exchanging information about people who work for WikiLeaks. So it uh, hasn't happened to your knowledge? To, to, to my knowledge, it hasn't happened. Uh, but on the more broad uh, allegations he makes about do we exchange uh, information about Australian citizens with foreign governments, yes, we do sometimes, following up 
transnational crimes like people smuggling, uh, following up transnational crimes like uh, drug trafficking, uh, following up transnational crimes like terrorism. Of what, course, what, what, about, what about what about espionage, uh, okay. which of course is the charge the United States would like to lay at the feet of Julian Assange? Uh, well. Mr Assange hasn't been charged with anything relating to WikiLeaks. He's got some legal issues relating to uh, personal conduct questions, alleged personal conduct questions in Sweden. Uh, and no one in the United States raised with me Mr Assange. No one. OK. I mean, but you, you are acknowledging, and I suppose we're going to find out eventually uh, from him. He <laughs> didn't supply us with any information, I must say, uh, to prove this, but he says he has the information. Um, there is an intelligence sharing arrangement with the United States, as you've just acknowledged. It's not inconceivable, is it, that we could have shared intelligence, Australia that is, with American security agencies about him or his colleagues in WikiLeaks? Well, I'm not going to do hypotheticals on hypotheticals on hypotheticals. Uh, do we exchange intelligence with the United States? Yes, we do. It's part of our alliance and it's in the best interests of this country. Uh, we are a small place. We therefore, in population terms, we therefore can't have the world's best intelligence networks. We just couldn't support them uh, in terms of money and capacity. It's in our interest to share intelligence with a nation like the United States, which is part of our defence arrangements with them. And okay. so it should be. All right, we've got a web question on this subject. It's from Nin Butrus in Melbourne. American politicians have called for the execution of Australian citizen Julian Assange. Uh, will you guarantee that Mr Assange will not be extradited to the US where he may face espionage charges and the death penalty? Well, once again, we're doing hypotheticals on hypotheticals here, uh, but policy-wise, we do not extradite people who could be subject to the death penalty. Uh, it's not a question of Mr Assange or not Mr Assange. That's Australian policy. We just don't. Okay, uh, next question, and we'll move on to...